right, remember I said I was going to do a scrapbook room tour? So in the spirit of doing videos I like watching, just like I did with a haul video, I'm going to give you guys a tour of my room. That's my door, decorated by children, mostly by my daughter. There's a lot of fun stuff on there. Um, these are spare beds. These are pull-out chair beds from Ikea. I should really focus on what I'm saying here. This room also functions as a spare room, so those we need if we have people visiting, but uh, a lot of the times they're just comfy chairs for in here. I'll try and give you an overview of the room kind of as best I can. Uh, it's going to be a little bit dark. It's going to, the light's going to be funny in some places with the windows, but it's, I wanted to get a little bit of light in here. It's great to have a scrapbook room with windows. I used to be in the basement, so this is the closet. I just use a board here. Those of you who are familiar with the Scrap Story and Blog, you'll know there's me and there's Char and Brandy and these. This chicken wire frame is actually from Brandy's wedding. She was nice enough to share them with us. And so it's a great place to hang some fun things just sitting on the closet door. There's sort of office storage in there, that kind of stuff. Nothing super exciting. My office chair is temporarily here because I don't use it right now. And the reason I don't use it is if you look this way on the bottoms of both of my scrapbook tables, my husband made risers for them so that they're actually at a height for me to stand. So both tables are tall enough that I usually stand. If I sit, I usually use something like a bar stool so that um, chair is not totally functional, but it has its uses from time to time. So there's a canvas I made hanging on the wall. I have, this is my, everybody's, every scrapbooker's favorite shelf. This is the big Expedit shelf from Ikea. So I have some albums on the top, just some decorative stuff. Um, I made these from old Stampin' Up um, wood blocks from wood mounted stamps. I took the stamps off and then just painted the blocks. There's my one little word vision board and then just some decorations up there. So this shelf holds mostly, let's see, on the bottom I have uh, glitter, embossing powder things I don't use very often, page protectors, um, embossing folders, magazines, memorabilia and things that I really should sort that should go into scrapbooks sometime. Um, extra bits and pieces, some shadow box frames I'm going to use, December daily, my big shot, then there's a whole shelf full of photos. These I'd like to show you. So these are paper sorters that my husband made to fit inside my shelves. So these hold 12 by 12. These ones are a little smaller. So these are for eight and a half by 11 paper. And I just put washi tape on the edges. And you can see that I've washi taped my entire shelf because why not? Uh, six by six paper, cards and envelopes in the back, card stock and thickers. So this is how I store thickers right now. I just fit them into an American Crafts paper, 12 by 12 paper sorter. And that works just fine. I can flip through see what's in there. This is all chipboard, bits and pieces. Uh, this is a shelf for extra albums. That's my current one little word album, some journals, some things that I'm going to have to get organized. This is a shelf full of old family photos, extra family memorabilia, and things that I need to work on. Uh, some books, magazines, that kind of thing. Uh, where's the book that I read? This is one of the books I really have to start going through. This is Kelly Ray Roberts. I also have... Um, the Julie Netting books. That'd be a lot of fun. So I got some fun stuff there to go through. This is just some office stuff, some CDs, that kind of thing. Where should we go next? This is my sort of inspiration section. Uh, two Kelly Ray Roberts pieces, a puzzle. This is the area I was mentioning in the haul video the other day where I put some stamps and I'm going to use soon. Bits and pieces of things that I'd like to work on right away. Just kind of hang out there. My trimmer is always on my table. Underneath the table, let's see if I can pull back a little bit. You guys are going to be motion sick watching my video. This is terrible. <laughs> so um, these are the Ikea Raskog. No, that's a lie. These are the Ikea Antonius. The Raskog is behind me. These are the Ikea Antonius baskets with the inserts. Um, if any of you guys are Project Lifers or if you have lots of cards, I don't know who doesn't, the um the little inserts are perfect for storing cards so let me let's have a quick look at what's in some of these so do you see how the four by six and three by four cards fit nicely into the little basket inserts so i have those i have some random things i don't use a lot of brads and those are old trimmer pieces so most of what i use regularly is in this one so this one stores markers paints 
What else we got in here? Markers, paints, gelatos, pencils. Uh, this one's full. A washi tape, ribbon, that kind of thing. Stickers, enamel dots, wood veneer, pins. Die cuts, alphas, that kind of stuff. So those fit nicely under my table, which is kind of good. Then I can just grab and go. Um, over here, so this is my this is my setup for filming yesterday. Actually, somebody asked me about my setup. This is basically an iPhone holder for a car, and an old movable desk lamp hinge. So my husband fashioned those two things together, and that's what I used to film yesterday. This is actually a lamp. It's meant to be on, meant to be a floor lamp with a move that's movable and again because my husband is awesome he made this shelf put the lamp on the shelf so I can have it right above my table over here I store scraps bits and pieces of printables planner papers that kinds of things these are just decorative jars filled with embossing powder have some art from my kids hanging there which is kind of fun uh, recycle bin not super exciting I have another Ikea unit under this table. This one holds uh, paintbrushes, um, some cleanup stuff, paper towel, baby wipes, that kind of thing, and then just printer and computer supplies. And because I mentioned the Rascog, I will show you that as well. So I don't know who doesn't have a Rascog card because they're awesome. They fit so much stuff. So what do I have in here? I have my mixed media stuff on the bottom, gesso, um, texture paste, Masking tape, matte medium, things for cleanup, spray mist, distress paint, ink, all that sort of thing right there. And I have all my stamps on the top. I did have my stamps in one of the Antonius basket inserts, the little divider ones that fit right inside the Rascog, but I actually took them all out because I need a little bit more space. I just used some magnets and hooks to hang stencils and things off the side. And then some of the other Ikea little cups to hold uh, different inks, bits and bobs, small um, sponges, paint dabbers, that kind of thing. I have a couple of inspiration boards, for lack of a better word, and another shelf my husband made with some family photos up on top. So this is a canvas. It's my first attempt at a canvas. It's actually not on canvas, it's just poster board. Um, that's on my blackboard. And there's my computer and silhouette table. And what else is there to look around at in here, you guys? I'm not sure. I think that's my room. That's the whole thing. I, um, I know someone's going to ask, is it this organized all the time? Because people kind of make fun of me for that. But honestly, when I'm done a project, I sort of clean it up and put things back to where they need to be because that makes me happy. And I like it that way. This is the most organized space in my house right now. It's probably the cleanest space in my house and that's okay. So hopefully you're still with me and you haven't gotten tired of my very shaky camera skills. And yeah, thanks for having a look around. See you soon.